Presidential candidates are making their final pitches to voters out west. Kamala Harris rallied in Phoenix while Donald Trump spent time near Las Vegas. There are only four days ago to go until the polls open. The presidential re race right now remains too close to call. And election experts are warning voters not to expect to know who won on election night. So we're asking Pat Kessler for a reality check. And why not, Pat? Yeah, everybody's wondering this. We're all yeah. expecting that close election, as you mentioned. But there is no law that says a winner has to be declared on election night. And not knowing who won doesn't mean there's fraud. But it is reasonable for viewers like Dana to ask us, why can't states get election results on election day? It used to happen that way. And you would think it'd go faster because many of the votes will be cast early. So you think we'd be able to get faster results. Well, the short answer is that more people than ever are voting early or absentee or mail-in voting. And every state has different rules. 37 states, including Wisconsin, do not allow paper mail-in vote processing or counting until Election Day. But 14 states, like Minnesota, do process mail-in votes before Election Day. They won't tabulate them, though, until after the polls close. So it's true, we have become accustomed in modern times to expect an election night winner. But in 2020, remember, it took four days to declare Joe Biden the president. We did know who won on election night in 16, 12, 08, and 04. And then I'm old enough to remember 2000. The presidency of the United States is just beyond the reach of two men tonight after an election unique in American history. That was George W. Bush and Al Gore. They fought over votes for 36 days until the Supreme Court declared the election over and Bush the winner. This year, as we mentioned, this is a coin flip. We're very likely going to see one candidate leading early and another candidate closing the gap as all of these mail-in votes are counted, not just in Minnesota, but all around the country. That is normal counting. That is not fraud, as many people are saying right now. So we gotta be really clear about it. It's counting votes, it's not fraudulent. Yeah. Maybe the flip side of that is take your time, get it right, the first time. Well, you would think that's it. And I think people do get confused when networks project, for example, mm -hmm. a winner. That's unofficial. That's very sophisticated polling. But we won't know exactly until all the votes are counted, as you said. Count the votes. All right. Thank you, Pat. You bet. Thanks, Pat. From inflation to immigration, you can find Pat's reality checks on all of this year's top issues on WCCO.com.